Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is my little Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Dan Taha Radio. I'm here live on the blue carpet for Ministry, a relationship platform. Stay tuned for all interviews. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, peace and blessings. This is my little Archer from the Real Rap Radio Show on Dan Taha Radio. I'm here for Ministry with the creator, Chanel Nicole Scott. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you, sir? Good. I love the new location. You do? I, okay. I love it, too. <laughs> Talk to me today about today's panel. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about choosing forever, navigating the path to finding the one. And we're do we're on this love elevated journey. Um, if anyone is familiar with ministry, most times the topics are inspired by my own personal experiences. And so we're in a place of healing where, you know, we've done the work, we've done the self work. And so now we're literally navigating the path to finding the one. Did you say choosing forever? Choosing forever. It's funny you say that because I've never been married. And I look at these divorce rates and I'm like, wow, why get married to get a divorce? So this is why we have the conversations, right? So that we can make better decisions so we can learn to understand one another. For me, I want to understand the male perspective so that I could essentially do relationship better. What advice would you give to someone when it's to start the healing process? Mm, The healing process. I think for the healing process, the first thing that we have to do is know who we are, right? We need to tap into our purpose. I think that when we tap into purpose and we find a level of contentment as to why we're here in the first place and we tap into our God-given assignment, then when we get disappointed, it doesn't hurt as much because we're good with us. Most times when we're traumatized or we're hurt, it's because we attach our value to someone else. And then when they disappoint us, we can't get it together. We can't pull it together. So true. And tell us some of the panelists you have in today. Okay, yeah, I'm like, you know what, I turned into a whole fan about five minutes ago, but I have uh, Sky uh, Black and KJ Smith Black. Um, I also have Selena Johnson. I have Marcus Barney, AKA Him 500. And I also have my amazing partner, Josh Powell. And what do you want people to walk away from seeing this? Wow, I want people to walk away seeing examples of healthy relationship. Everybody on the panel is married with the exception of myself. So it'll be exciting to hear the different stories and glean practical principles on how to actually navigate that path. Whether you're in a relationship or out, I think we can learn something from each and every one of them. So true. And where can they find you on social media? You guys can find me at Chanel Nicole Scott on all social media platforms. Thank you so much for doing it. Thank you so much. Norman, I'm with Josh Powell. How are you? Bless. How are you doing? Good. So you're one of the panelists today. I am. I am. What are you going to be talking about? Hopefully, uh, whether it's me or anybody else, we'll be giving somebody something in the right direction today. <laughs> when it comes to relationships, since it's a relationship platform, what are some of the important factors for your mate to have? Uh, for your mate to have, I, I, I think it's, you know, it depends on the person. Me personally, um, I love to know that I'm with somebody that knows who they are, uh, that has strong principles, morals, and values. Um, that they have loyalty, uh, respect, um, classiness. Um, I could keep going on, but you know, at the end of the day for me, it's not about perfection. It's about a person who's willing to work and a person who's willing to put me, you know, at the top of their list and make me feel like I'm someone of importance. So I don't think that's, that's in the relationships enough these days. Now, how important would you say is credit in a relationship? Credit, uh. I think, I think credit is important. It's not at the top of my list, but it is important. And I know everybody, everybody's situation is different, but for me, I want a person who loves me. You feel me? There's not enough love in the world, man. And I feel like a lot of times people are getting with people because of what they do or what they can do for them and not for the actual purpose of relationship, which is love and trust and honesty and closeness and the list goes on and on and on and what is your idea of a perfect first date perfect first date i am from the south side i am going to say the waffle house scatter smother covered let's chop it up over a good waffle (laughs) and let's see what's happening Appreciate the interview. I'll let everybody know where you can find you on social media. Oh, man, appreciate you. Uh, you, you can find me on Instagram, Josh21Powell. Uh, you can also follow my foundation page, 21 Reasons to Give. Um, again, uh, I don't know what's going on with TikTok, but up until then, Josh21Powell on there as well. I'm on Twitter, uh, JP or X. It's not Twitter anymore, sorry. Uh, JP21Reasons. 
And um, y'all follow Relationships Matter too, you know, the podcast. So salute to Chanel and what she's doing uh, with her brand, with Comministry. And, you know, I look forward to having a great event. Thanks again for doing the interview. Absolutely. Thank you. She with Bambi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're here for a relationship platform. So talk to me about relationships. What are some of the key elements that you look for in a relationship? I think people who are actively trying to become, like, better, um, that's really all we can look for as humans is somebody that's trying to become a better person. What's some of the qualities you like in your mate? I'm sorry? What are some of the qualities that you like in your mate? Uh, just like someone to be God-fearing and honest and someone who um, is humble enough to know that we all have things to work on. What is one of your favorite places to go to on a date? Uh, I don't know. I like to go on out-of-town dates. So, you know, hop on a plane, surprise me. Nice. So talk to me about your children's book. How your children's book going? It's doing very well. Um, you know, a lot of people are able to relate to children being in multiple homes. And even if you're not, um, it's a lot of people who would like to explain that concept to their kids. So um, it's doing really well. And what are you looking forward to seeing with the panel today? Um, you know, I'm always just looking for new ways and new ideas and, you know, just fresh energy. You have anything coming up soon? I do. I'm dropping more books. Um, you can always tap in on my Instagram. It's A-D-I-Z, the BAM, and make sure you stay locked in and see what I got coming out. Thanks for doing the interview. Thank you. And I'm with Maurice Curry. How are you? I'm well, spectacular. How are you doing? Good. So you're an actor. I am. I am an actor out of Atlanta, producer, uh, also acting coach, among other things. Talk to me about acting. How did you get started? I got started probably back in 2006 after I got out of the Marine Corps. I'm a United States Marine Corps uh, Iraq War combat veteran uh, and uh, it was a tough road but I've been pushing through pushing hard and now I take the time to give back to new actors uh, who are looking to get into the business uh, I actually have an episode a couple of episodes of uh, Law and Order coming up next week okay since the ministry is a relationship platform have you done any romantic uh, acting scenes I have done a few uh, with my with my girl Ashley uh, Fostier y'all know her as Creole Queen she played my wife in a couple of films. Uh, Danielle LaRoche, I have a film coming up with her. Um, it's, it, I've done a few. I've done a few. Yeah. Now tell me this. How do you build up the chemistry? How do you guys get your chemistry together to play a romantic scene? Well, luckily, uh, we crack jokes. We, get, we, get, we have a lot of jokes on the scene, and we make everything uh, very comfortable. And that's really the key is just being comfortable with the person that you're working with and knowing that that person's got you and you got them and y'all trust each other. And everything will be fine. Okay, now we talk about relationships. So, what is your idea of a perfect mate? I'm sorry, say it again. What is your idea of a perfect mate? A perfect mate? mate yes. A perfect mate. You have to find that within yourself. You will never find because uh, human humanity is uh, infallible. We're imperfect. You will never find the perfect mate. What you will find is the perfect mate for you. So, it all depends on what you need or what you are willing to give to your mate. That's how you find the perfect mate. Decide what you what's best for you and then meet the person that fulfills those things that are within you and then that you can also give back to that person. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Great advice. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Oh, uh, Maurice Carey, that's M-A-U-R-I-C-E-P-K-E-R-R-Y at uh, all social media. Appreciate the interview. Oh, it's a pleasure. Man. Now with him, 500. Yep. How you doing, boss? Good. How you feel today? So you're one of the panelists. Yes. So talk to me. How important is the relationship to you? Very important. You know, it's one of the foundations of life that you build off of. It's your daily basis where every, your days operate off of. So it's super important to me. So we're talking about a relationship platform. What are three th characteristics you look for in a mate? Vision. Vision to be able to lead and help lead my family because you know it's only so much that I can do and sometimes I need help with that as well as a man. So one thing I look for is vision. Also is that the ability to, to, to always be a student and willing to be learned and be able to learn. So when it comes to the 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 mindset of being a student, willingness to be able to learn as we learn each other growing through life because we always grow and develop into a new person. And the other thing is that they, they you know a characteristic that personality got to be there. So that's another one. What is your go-to place when you want to take your mate out for a special night? A special night? 
her favorite spot is New York Prime. So that's where my wife is at. When we go and hang out, that's one of our favorite spots to dine in Atlanta. Okay. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. All social media platforms, HIM500, H-I-M 500. Appreciate the interview. Most definitely. And I'm with Chef Kimmins. How are you? Amazing. How are you? We just faith in this thing out. You see the shirt say faith, faith, faith. Celebrity chef. How is it? It's an amazing career choice. Um, I love what I do. Super passionate. It's my purpose. So I'm living in my purpose, working in my purpose. It's my vision board out loud. I'm here to support Kim Ministry. Chanel is so awesome. It's amazing to support the entire panel that's here with her today. Uh, we are just phenomenal leaders, women of excellence, and doing our dang on thing. And the men, too. So we got phenomenal kings and queens in the building. How did you become a celebrity chef? You know, built the whole business word of mouth. And one person led to one person to one person. They just love my vibe. You know, my energy, baby. I bring the chemistry. And how many years have you been doing it? Oh, telling my age. Almost 30 years. So I'll be doing a 30-year celebration soon. What is your most popular dish? Everything fresh, because everything's made with love, and all of my cuisines are custom to my clients. So I can make anything, and I bake too. So everything's going to be good, because it's Chef Kim's baby. Give me, give, me, give, me, give, me, give me your go-to dish when somebody not sure what they want. You know what? They always order everything. So they'll order lamb, salmon, chicken, greens, beans, potatoes, corn. So you get everything. So it's a diverse menu, um, diverse cultures that are within my menus. It's just amazing. I just love to make things amazing. And I feel amazing. So, you know, I'm going to be amazing. And if you eat my food, you're going to feel amazing. You ready? Book me now. <laughs> and talking about love, we're here at Ministry. Relationship and love, a relationship platform. So talk to me about relationships. What's your thoughts on relationships? Relationships, you know, I think you got to tweak the traditional campaign a bit because you kind of got to merge with the family patterns that come from both sides, the male and the female side. And then you have to find where you want to compromise that. And so that's really, really important um, when joining with a partner in a relationship that's so, so important is understanding where you want to compromise that with the patterns and the baggage that they come with him or her, uh, and then you just make your happy medium, and then you develop your own creed within your relationship, but you got to have God in it. That's the first part. What is your three must-have with your partner? Communication, connection, and definitely a leader. It's so many more, but definitely that communication piece, that leading aspect, yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. Awesome. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. All things Celebrity Chef Chemist. All things Celebrity Chef Chemist, that is. Thank you so much for doing the interview. You're welcome. And shout out to, what's your company? Downtown Hot Radio. Downtown Hot Radio just did my interview, so it's amazing, guys. Y'all going to stay tuned, because y'all know she's a multipreneur, too. So I have some amazingness, but I can't tell y'all everything yet, so shh. But I'll be back at you, but it's all things Celebrity Chef Chemist. Super phenomenal. You are a phenomenal king. We're in a building with phenomenal leaders and women. It's going to be amazing. So I'm excited to see the panel, learn some new tools, to put them a tool bag. So guys, you should be here. But if you're not, be at the next one. And make sure you log on to the ministry. Grab the book. Chanel is dropping all the gems. I got the book when I was at the Women's Expo. It's amazing. Worth every penny. She's just super dynamic, guys. So come support your people. Come support the leaders in the game who got the information. Shout out to Josh Paul. The panel is going to be amazing. We got everybody in the building. I can't even say everybody's name. Don't charge it to my heart. But they're all phenomenal. The actors, the speakers, just everybody. They're just phenomenal ladies and men. I can never say enough because I get so full so fast. But catch me back later for a few more interviews. And I know I'll be dropping some more names who I saw, all the deets. You ready? Thanks again for doing the interview. Thank you. Street with Moni Sutton. How are you? I'm doing great. How you doing? Wonderful. You keep it so stylish. Let's talk about this dress. You, look, look, I, look. I have to, y'all. You know, look. You got to stay together. But look, this one here is a little short, so I'm trying to keep it together. But I love it. What's the name of it, and where did you get it from? You know what? I got styled by this guy called Jalen, and I got it from Akira. You guys. Sometimes you got to go in the store and just get you something and just say, uh. I love it. I love it. 
So we're here for Ministry Relationship Love, Relationship Platform. So talk to me about relationships. Oh my God. So relationship is everything. I just got married, you guys, like less than a year ago. So, so super excited about that. But the main thing I tell people with, with marriage, relationships, friendship, it's all about communication. People don't understand that as long as you can communicate, it's going to be okay. Tell them about getting married. How did you know Toby was the one for you? Well, I gave him a run for his money now, you look out. It, it, it took nine years. Most people didn't even know we was dating, right? So um, I, I knew it probably before, but I was a little afraid. Sometimes we as individuals have to know and be ready to sell. Me, I didn't want to look at him every day. I can tell the truth. He knows. So, you know, when God released that and released me, I felt comfortable. And I said, God, we have been living a married life, so we might as well move in and make it official. And we did. Hello. <laughs> And talk to me, how do y'all keep things spicy? You know what? We have date nights. Matter of fact, we had one last night. We keep things spicy by just like just doing things and compromising. You know, that was something that I was never a pawn of doing, but now, hey, it makes everything balanced these days. Look at you compromising, making your husband happy, and vice versa. Things works out, honey. You make him happy, you get your red bottoms, you get your shit. <laughs> Let the Lord use you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Where's your ideal dates when y'all go out on dates? Where's your go-to place? You know what? We, I'm, I'm not really a, a big person who's like, because I think I've eaten everywhere. I've done so many things. Me, I like the surprises. I can sit on my floor and eat wings and sit still. As long as he makes it spicy, he does roses. He makes sure that he dates me, and I understand that. And I make sure that I reciprocate. Women, make sure the way you got in, if you was getting in, being sexy, cooking, doing all that stuff, do it when you get married. I cooked before I came here, y'all. And I mean a whole meal, cornbread, roast, collard greens, and all that stuff, like, before I got here. <laughs> Love it. And let everybody know what you got coming up. Look, I got so many great things coming up. But look, I definitely want you guys to stay tuned for my book. It is almost finished, you guys. We're going to have a pre-order going on right before July. Could, could come before then. And then all the movies, I'm on every platform right now. So just go and look up, Doctor. well, not Dr. Money Sutton, but Money Sutton is there. That's right. You heard that doctor. You heard it first. Doctor right there. Yes. <laughs> And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Um, you guys can follow me at the real money sudden underscore. That's T-H-E-R-E-A-L-M-O-N-E. -E I drop the Y at that I sudden S-U-T-T-O-N underscore. Thank you so much for doing the interview. You know what? Thank you. Look, first of all, I thank you because you always be in these streets and I love it. Like, like you really be making sure you look out for people like us, and I love that. For sure. Gotta keep it consistent, right? Don't ever change. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Street, and I'm with Toby from Pacific. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good, good. Always see you out. We are we here on the Blue Carpet Ministry. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about it. Well, Ministry, I happened to interview Nicole about, I think, last year. We had a two-episodic show on my show called Mind of a Man, co-hosting with, um, with um, James, uh, James Moore. So it's amazing how far she's come. I mean, she's done an amazing, amazing job with what she's doing with Ministry. And I'm just here just to support her today. It's just, it's just awesome. She brings good knowledge about relationships and everything else. So it's like, I'm so glad to be part of what she's doing and learn more about what she's done. And I can apply it to what I do. And it's based on relationships. So talk to me about your marriage since you've been married under a year now, right? I've been married, it'll be a year soon, but I've been together with my mate for about almost 10 years. And what made you go ahead and get married? Well, we wanted to make sure we got all the kinks out the way. We wanted to make sure that whatever challenges, issues, drama, any deep, dark secrets, anything that we're going through, either mentally or whatever, we lay everything out on the table so there's no surprises going into the marriage. So we were very patient with our relationship, and we always put God in our relationship, that the Lord, please, nurture everything that we have in this relationship. Whatever we have, God, nurture it, nurture it for us. So we always put God first in our relationship, and then we pray to God individually, and we also pray together. So it was basically prayer and, you know, being transparent with each other. And there's no judgment. No matter what you've done in this world, if it's, there's no such thing as passing judgment on each other. And we don't hit below the belt if there's any disagreements or anything like of such. You always learn how to come together, negotiate what your disagreements are, and the most important thing, two important thing is, don't leave the table without both parties happy. That's one, and never go to bed 
with an argument because tomorrow's not promised to anybody. And where's your favorite place you'd like to take your wife when it comes to date night? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them here in the city. Um, Optimus, Papa Do's, because she likes seafood, we like seafood, um, and Nigerian restaurants, because I'm a first generation American Nigerian. So she likes some Nigerian food. So I take her out there and we, we just have a, good, we have a good time. And then we'd like to travel as well. So we're actually planning to go to Nigeria very soon. So, awesome. Yeah. And let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Um, they can find me very easy. I'm very easy to find. It's Toby, T-O-B-I-E, Famasipi, F-A-M-U-S-I-P-E. You can find me there on Facebook with that. Or find me on Instagram. Um, I am Toby San. That's I-A-M-T-O-B-I-E-S-A-N. I am Toby San. Thanks for doing the interview. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for having Delaney me. Delaney Daniels, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. So you're a music artist? Yes, I am a singer out of Buffalo, New York. Now, how did you get started? Um, I started off modeling and needed a talent when we were about 18 in a competition and I started singing <laughs> and it went from there. And what genre of music do you do? Um, I'm honestly not sure where to put myself. I'm very versatile. Um, I don't sound like how I look. It gives very much country. <laughs> so yeah, it's very unique. <laughs> and what songs are you currently pushing? Um, Old Me. It's a single written by myself. I've been pushing that one. I have a, um... A new single called Soul coming out Friday, April 12th. And how did you come up with those two titles? Um, old Me, it was just about times I was going through, trying times. And um, the words just kind of came to me. I wrote it in about 20, 30 minutes. It was a time I wanted to go back to my old and younger self, like my older, younger self. So, yeah. Did you do a music video with it? Yes, I just released the music video March 25th on my mother's birthday. Talk to me about that music video. What all went into it? Um, we took bits and pieces from different performances of me performing Old Me. We put it all together along with baby pictures, adding my little brother Zion in it, um, as well as my mom and my dad. Um, so the pictures consisted of me being younger, me and him being younger. Um, and then at the very end, I paid a nice tribute to my uncle Jason, who passed away, whose birthday is April 12th. Um, I'm released in Seoul on his birthday. When it comes to music, who's your inspiration? Um, I would say like Anita Baker, uh, Lauren Hill, Aretha Franklin, um, Love Me Some Beyonce, Brandy, Monica, things of that nature. Are you looking forward to doing any collaborations? Yes, I am actually. Um, I've had a lot of DMs about doing features and I'm excited. I never mind doing a feature. I feel like music is music. And if I can go into the studio with another artist and create, I'm, I'm game. <laughs> You have any showcases coming up? Yes, I actually am headlining my first solo show, uh, Bars and Ballads, Tuesday, April 9th. Um, it's a mixture for bars, obviously for rappers, and then ballads for singers. So um, if anyone wants to come at the last minute and jump on the mic to sing or rap, we are down. Hit up Parisha the Diva on Instagram. Um, I'm the only singer in the showcase right now, so we would love to have some more talent. Awesome, and let everybody know where they can find you on social media. Y'all can find me on social media at Sing Delaney. That is S I N G D E L A N E Y. Thank you so much for doing the interview. Thank you.